God, this will be the... Not requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodging bastard! Ha, 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 Open! Open now! I, I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell does eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the run. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! 
Do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. E everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that. No, she did What your mother did before we met. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. These are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in a second. Here was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the Rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's gotta be a faster way to get down there. Nista! 
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Hmm. suddenly end up snout deep in cheek the ground was that an earthquake hmm. an occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartelfine. with all the mining here the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered oh wow nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it i was thinking because it's so warm maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet but Maybe it's just different in Spartalfon? Aye, lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it... winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Father, up there.
Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving. If the water doesn't reach. One of those guys. 
Is there another one somewhere? Guys are up there just get stronger. When you froze the geyser, the pressure must have changed for the ones around it. Maybe there's a vent. We can get a better look. The dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavor. Fast. And how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. behind it. But how? <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it dropped. Father, up there.
halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Uncover that geyser from here. I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. under the wheel. Maybe? That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Oh, 
lad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Thimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. Might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the young brothers. Hey, towards! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. It only sounded an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Can we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. Ah! Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> I knew we'd left something behind. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah! Whew! There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say... Skialfa. Ah! 
Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Atreya, this way. Best of luck. It seems like me, the Valir, is locked down because of us. Mm. Outsiders are not welcome here. I imagine that large statue of Odin has something to do with it. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Uh, let's just keep moving. <laughs> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarf Resistance. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wish she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. Rock may be interested in getting his back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? Another of Cavassia's poems. At your service. Till we meet again!
place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those criminals.
Huh! <laughs> 